Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Cyclones have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Both teams have set their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Jackson from the six, and he's taken down at the 27. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Paul's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Green's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Carrier. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That makes it third and three. Pitch and catch for the first down. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. First down, 10 to go. go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Green gains about five yards on the run. That makes it second and six. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Let's go. Red 68. Caught, and that's a first down. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 27-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to come up with a sack. Four yards on the play. That 
makes it second and 14. This is the ninth play of this drive. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets to about the 17-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Nice run there. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. From the 12-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback. He's tackled around the nine-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Hand off to the right, and they make the stop at the nine-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Third down. Now he's scrambling. Wisconsin is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Hawkeyes took the field ranked 23rd. This is new for this program, playing as a ranked team. How will they handle the pressure? We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Iowa leads it 24-17. Reese, 3-0 here. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, three-nothing, Badgers. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Harris on the inside handoff gets out to about the 31. The back gets three on the carry. tight end just another weapon for this offense he's got good hands and he's tough to bring down he showed right there that he can make something big happen got a man complete and he's hit hard He's on the run. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Here we go. Muscle, muscle, muscle. 
Quick throw, and down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. Two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws out to the running back, no good. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here comes the pressure. Can't wrap him up. Incomplete pass. And they got some pressure on him that time. And what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. It's away. Short punt. He drops it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin holds a field goal lead. Gets to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready. Cut. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's at midfield. Brought down around the 47-yard line. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Badgers! He makes the PAT. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 10-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 25. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle made at the 39. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. their own 39-yard line. Second down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle at the 48. First down. Six, 
And he's immediately tackled. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. Looks to his receiver, first down. Has it to the senior. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Touchdown, Iowa State. to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and a goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 10-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Green from the four. Across the 30. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Wisconsin's offense, Kirk, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays. But right now, it's been running the football, and it's working. He scrambled. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So the Badgers will use their first time out of the half. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Wisconsin has a three-point lead. Zips it to the back, and he's taken down at the 46. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. is the deep man awaiting the return. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Caught and big hit there to stop it. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Fires it out. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 17. First Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends.
kicks up, and it is good. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. From the five-yard line, he's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He is drilled at the 17-yard line. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. Hand off, and he's met immediately. comes a pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Jackson takes it at the 43. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 41, Mike 41. Let's go. Red 68. Red 68. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard on a play. That'll make it 31. And he throws it away. 
Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He delivers. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 33-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 17-10. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line. And he just got drilled. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He zips it. Intercepted. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Wisconsin is up by a touchdown. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. Short over the middle, and down he goes at the 19. From the 19-yard line, second down. Ready, wide, 80, wide, 80. Inside the 10, touchdown, Wisconsin. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. A short three play, 35 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 24 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Caldwell from the one. Knocked out of bounds at the 28. Wisconsin's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 41. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. Game of 12 yards. First down. After decent pickup. That brings him second and five. Let's go, let's go. 
Gets out to around the 32. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. They'll drop him for a loss. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it 37. yardage on that run. Brown gains about five yards on the run. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, Wisconsin leads 24-10. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action here's a quick throw swatted away surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position I thought the play call had him folded first but a nice play by the D from the 21 yard line second down or what? And he tacks on the extra point. Iowa State is ready to kick it away. Jackson from the five. He's tackled at the 32. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Wisconsin is up a score. He's into the open field. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. He finally goes down at the 25-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Nice run there. Green gains around six yards on the run. Complete. 
Fourth down. At the four. You know, the quarterback that time took a big time major chance by putting that ball up into coverage. Now, the receiver made the play, they get a first down. But if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. Touchdown, Badgers! He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for Iowa, they remain red hot. And for Young, he overmatched this defense with five touchdown passes. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. The Hawkeyes win it by 20. Reese, we got a 31-17 game here. Marcus has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 30. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. They're ready to begin another drive. Throws in the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. Let's go, let's that go. makes it first and 10. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Come to my world. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. to get it inside the 47. Less than three minutes in the game. And a quick throw. He's taken down at midfield. That makes it fourth and four. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's at the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 27-yard line. And for Green, he goes over the 200-yard mark in the game. And we're talking about rushing yards, folks. Really quality game for this guy today. He ought to be very happy with his production. From the 27-yard line, first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. Green gets six yards on the carry. Iowa State's going to take their first time out of the half. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. They went back to the exact same play they just ran, and judging by the slow reaction on the other side of the ball, it was unexpected. From the 13-yard line, 
first down. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's taken down around the five-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Tackle made at the two. It's first down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. the two. Second down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Hey, watch the land. Set. Green 19. Green 19. Touchdown, Wisconsin. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Knights had a spot in the top 20 that is in jeopardy after this performance. Did not think it was possible. A major upset today. Fresno State finishes it off and wins by nine. Our score, 38-17 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Harris gets it on the draw. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 32. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He sails it long. Got it. To the 10. Touchdown, Cyclones. Splits the uprights with the extra point. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats, so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He goes downtown. Missed him. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 38-24, Wisconsin. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.